Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, somebody. Come on, let's give God a hand clap in this place today. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name. We bring greetings to each and every one of you. Amen. Praise God. From Prayer House Church of God by Faith, located here at 270 Cumberland Street, where we believe that what church? God is still working miracles. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for each and every one of you who are with us on this morning. Amen. Praise God. We say happy 4th to you. Happy Independence Day to each and every one of you. Amen. Praise God. And to each of your families. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege. Um, Pastor Will Lightfoot, we thank God for uh, our Pastor Emeritus, uh, Dr. George Daly and Mother Eldora Daly. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for the Spirit of Christ and for my wife, Prophetess First Lady Verdina Lightfoot. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for our musicians, our singers, our deacons and deaconesses, and all of you in your respective places. We come to give God some praise in this house this morning. Amen? Hey, it's Liberation Day. Amen? Praise God. It's the day to be free. Hello, somebody. And we thank God for today. Amen? And we're going to have our Pastor Emeritus come up and lead us in worship. We ask that you, those who are listening via Zoom, those who are listening online, amen, that you share the link with somebody. Invite them to church today by simply sharing the link and saying, come and worship with us this morning. Is that all right? We want our, amen, our online evangelist to go into action this morning. Is that all right? And begin to share the link with somebody else so that they may be blessed on today. Amen. Praise God. We're going to ask, amen, our Pastor Emeritus to come before us, amen, and to bless us in prayer. After that, we will have our singer, our psalmstress, uh, Shawanda Owens, uh, and our musicians to lead us into worship. And then after that, you'll be hearing my voice uh, with the word from the Lord. Is that all right? Amen, amen, amen. God is good, somebody. Can I get a witness today? Can I get a witness today? Amen. Praise God. If we could get ready to go in the prayer, amen. Praise God. But I read what David said, make a joyful noise. What does joyful mean? Excitement. Happy. Come on, somebody. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Glad. Praise the Lord. Have mercy. Why? Hallelujah. So make a joyful unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve him with what? Gladness. Come before his presence with singing. It's coming, singing, coming, singing, coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And into his gates with thanksgiving. And to his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Come on, somebody. Is it good to you today? And that right, somebody? And in verse is everlasting. And in truth endureth, praise God, to all generations. Nowadays, like me, nowadays, many people of the world think of the world seem like they create their, their own sales. Come on, somebody. Amen. And the world around them. But it's nobody but the Lord. Praise God. I'm glad to be here today. I'm glad to be here today. Praise God in the house of the worship. Amen. Thank the Lord. You ought to be glad to. Praise God. Because God woke us up this morning to see another day. Come on. Amen. Praise God. You know what? We ought to be glad. It's God that let us live. Come on, somebody. It's God that let us go where we want to go. I praise the Lord. We got a reason to give God some praise. You ought to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise. Paul said rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Again, I say rejoice. We got to rejoice about. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? You got something to rejoice about. Oh, God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not sick. I don't have no virus. Oh, 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 oh. oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's nobody but God. There's nobody but the Lord. We get ready to go in prayer today. I'm God, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord. Oh, God, I give God praise to y'all. I give God praise. I got a reason to give God some praise. I don't know about you, but I got a reason to give God some praise. God wants you to give him praise. He don't want you to shut your mouth all the time. We shut our mouth sometimes, but you don't shut your mouth all the time. God wants you to praise him. He wants you to worship him. That's God, y'all. I said, God wants you to do this. I said, God wants you to do this. Worship him, praise God. 
And I thank God today. Hallelujah. We give you a going prayer. Oh, God, I thank you right now. God, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Hallelujah. I love that man. I love God. I love God. Hallelujah. God, I thank you, Lord. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord. Y'all, y'all excuse me right now, but I got there's so much in my heart today. So much in my heart today. God, is good to me. Look where God brought me from. Woo. God, oh, God. I don't mind giving God praises. I got to give him praises. Baby, God, oh, my heavenly Father. Our God, our Father, we can't thank you enough. We say thank you. It's you that woke us up this morning. We didn't get up on our own. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for food. Because some people don't have food to eat. Thank you for shelter. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the family. Thank you, God, today. Thank you for God for being in the house of worship. You said, come together, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We come now, God, in your son Jesus' name. Lift up the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, God, bless our together today, God. God, have your way, Lord. Have your way in this place, God. Oh, God, in the home, God. Have your way, God. In the bathroom, God. In the kitchen. In the living room. In the car, God. Help your people, God. Open their hearts to you today, God. Wherever they may be, God, lift their hands up and give you praise today, Lord. God bless God. Bless today, God. We say bless God, our bishop. Oh, God, his companion, Lord, Lady, the Lord's God, and night, all the ruling elders, God, and their wives, Pastor Lightfoot, God, Willie Lightfoot and his wife, Lady Lake Verda, and my wife, Lady Lake Eldora. We say thank you, Lord. And nobody but you, Lord, nobody but you, Lord. I said, thank you, God. You said everything, give thanks. Bless those that are sick right now. Somebody's sick. Somebody hurt it. Somebody got cancer. There's so many diseases. Somebody got the virus. But we pray healing today, God. We speak life today, God. In Jesus' name. Somebody want to get up. Somebody want to walk again. Somebody want to get up, God. Touch right now. In this prayer, Lord, touch it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let somebody get up and start shouting and start giving you praise. Lord, somebody, we get to report God through this prayer that somebody got up out of the bed that was crumpled, got up out of the wheelchair. Somebody got up, God. Say, I'm saved. We want to hear that report, God, in Jesus' name. Bless the song for the day, God, in Jesus' name. And we say, thank you, Lord. We say, thank you, God. Devil, you the liar. We're going to give God some praises. We're going to give God some praises. Bless the songs to God today. In Jesus' name, we're going to continue to give you the praise. Continue to give you the glory. In your son Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Come on, everybody, stand to your feet. Oh.
you're a great guy. Oh, you're a great guy. You're a great guy. Come on. How many people are over the age of 70 in this place? Do you know how blessed this place is? The wisdom that is in this place. God has brought y'all a mighty, 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 mighty long way. Hallelujah. I want to give honor to our elders in this place. God is so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That life and breath is still in your body. That you made it through the COVID. That you made it into the house of the Lord. That God.
God didn't call your name this morning, but you're here in your right mind with the activities of your limb. I'm giving you a reason to praise them. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Pastor. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I love every last one of y'all. Y'all give young people like me hope. You give me hope that if we continue this journey, it'll be worth it with God. It'll be worth it in the end. It'll be worth it in the end. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I know we sing this all the time, but thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I'm sorry for the ugly cry, but he's so worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I, I got to thank you this morning. Thank you for the life, health, and strength. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Come on, come on, there's a praise in this house. Come on, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Close your eyes, lift up your hands. 
Come on in person. Come on Zoom. Come on Facebook. Worship your God. Hallelujah. Worship your God. Hallelujah. Thank you God. God we give you honor. Oh hallelujah. God we give you praise. Woo. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, glory, 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 glory. Oh, bless his holy name in his place. You may be seated, amen. Praise God under the spirit of Christ. Ah. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Listen, church. Some would say, Thank you, Lord. Woo, glory. Woo! Yes! Hallelujah! Some would say, oh, well, the psalmist just was saying something when she said, how many are over 60? How many are over 70? And some would say, oh, well, we have more senior folks than we do young folks. I want to let you know something, saints. I'm proud of this church. Hello, somebody. Oh, yes, I am. Because some got a lot of young, but they ain't got no old. And some bury them more young than they are old. But the Bible says that he calls the old because they are wise and the young because they're strong. And I thank God for putting me in this opportunity because I have an opportunity to bridge the young and the old together. Oh, I wish somebody would catch that after a while. Everybody don't have that opportunity. I have an opportunity to have wisdom and strength at the same time. And I want to let you know that that's a powerful weapon when you have both wisdom and strength. We thank God for the spirit of Christ. We don't plan to be before you long. We know that this is a holiday. Amen. Praise God. But we know every day is a blessed day uh, when we're praising God. Amen. All the protocol has been set. We honor everyone in your respective places. Amen. But we would have with a brief moment of time, if you would allow us, we're going to try to have you out on time today. Uh, please, sir, please, ma'am, if you would turn your, your Bible. Very, very quick but wholesome message today. Uh, if you turn to your uh, Galatians chapter 5, Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, we'll share other scriptures as you know, but uh, our main scripture of focus, focus today, thank you, Dick, that sounds much better, of focus is Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. I'll read in the message and I'll read the King James, but I like the message too because it really just kind of put things in perspective of today's language. I ask if you join with me with a brief word of prayer and then we'll share this word with you. Father, we thank you for everything that's been done. We pray in the name of Jesus that you give us wisdom and understanding of your word, that you would shape our lives with your word, God, and that you would anoint your word to move in us, God. We pray that somebody would be saved, set free, and filled with your precious Holy Spirit, would be uplifted, would be changed in Jesus' name. Amen. We, Galatians chapter 5, verse 1 says uh, in the King James, Stand fast, therefore, in liberty, wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. In the message version, it reads that says, Christ has set us free to live a free life. So take your stand. Never again let anyone put a harness of slavery on you. Our thought for a topic would be, how free are we really? How free are we? Really, and I, I, I ask, I say we because I think all of us have to ask ourselves that question. And this message today is not for the perfect people. Perfect people, you can tune off. You can tune out today. This is not a message for the perfect people. This is not a perfect people message. So all the perfect people, you can tune out. You can, you can go, you can leave. It's all right. I want to talk to the imperfect people today, if that's all right. The imperfect people. 
today. I want to talk to the imperfect people today. Imperfect, imperfect people. Uh, that we can all find ourselves, amen. I think we should all, anytime we read the word of God, we should all find ourselves in the word of God. And I had to look at uh, it being Independence Day, and we're not going to go into all of the history of Independence Day, but we'll touch on a few things about that, of the meaning of today. But uh, when we look at this scripture, and it's talking about bondage, it's talking about, in, in message, slavery. And we say, what is slavery and what is bondage? Slavery and enslavement are both the state and the condition of being a slave, who is someone forbidden to quit their service for another person while treated as property. Slavery typically involves, amen, praise God, the enslavement, the enslaved person being made to perform some form of work while also having their location dictated by the slaver. Bondage, saints of God and friends, is the state of being a slave. The Declaration of Independence included three major ideas. People have a certain inalienable right to include, including life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. All men and women are supposed to be created equal. Individuals have a civic duty, amen, praise God, to defend these rights for themselves and for others. I take an opportunity, amen, praise God, to honor the men and women who fought for our freedoms, the men and women who, who protected our freedoms and our right to be able to have these liberties that oftentimes we so take for granted, amen. Uh, but I also take the time to not just the men and women who are in the military or the men and women, but there are some men and women who are still fighting today. Hello, somebody. There are young people that have taken to the streets of cities across America fighting for freedoms and justices and social justices and injustices, amen, praise God, and fighting against, amen, uh, for equality and, 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 and amen, fighting for us to, to end uh, racism, structural and institutional racism. Can I get some help in this out today? There are people that are still marching, that are still, amen, praise God, fighting for us to be free. So I ask ourselves, and that's where the question of the topic comes, how free are we really? Oh, thank you, Jesus. When we look at, amen, praise God, the, a bondage, we have to look at it on different levels, both naturally and both spiritually. And naturally, amen, we can look at bondage. Uh, we can see some byproducts of that, which are what? Racism, institutional, structural, Various uh, uh, different, amen, praise God, things that we've known and we've experienced in our lives. Many of you raised your hand when they asked, are you over 60, are you over 70? So some of you remember, amen, praise God, slavery. You remember racism. You remember, amen, Jim Crow. You remember some of you, amen, praise God, have had the opportunities to see. And I, I was able to go to Memphis, Tennessee, and I was able to go to the uh, Civil Rights Museum, uh, amen, praise God, in, 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 in Memphis, amen, praise God. And, and when I went to that Civil Rights Museum, Amen, praise God. I was able to see images, very troubling images of uh, white water fountains, colored water fountains. Somebody said, I remember them. It was opportunity times, amen, saints of God, where black and brown people were not allowed to go into certain restaurants. We're not allowed, amen, to eat certain food. You couldn't eat the same food as other people ate. You were given the leftovers. I wish I had some help. How free are we really? When we think about, amen, praise God, what God has brought us from, how far God has taken us as a people, amen, praise God. Some would say, amen, that we're still, still in the struggle. You would think if we have the life of pursuit of liberty, of happiness, equality, that we're all supposed to have access, hello somebody, access to the same things in life. Mm, some would argue, amen, saints of God, that that doesn't vary to be true today. 
Some of us, amen, praise God, are maybe not as free as other counterparts are. Mm. So when we look at the scriptures, it tells us in the scriptures, Christ set us free to live a free life. Now, there is a natural freedom or a natural bondage, and then there is a spiritual freedom and a spiritual bondage. And here we want to try to address both the natural and the spiritual. And in the natural, we discussed the inequalities. We talked about, amen, the indifferences that we have as people of color. Uh, women, praise God, when you look at even buying a home, there was redlining. And when we bought homes as people of color, our mortgages were higher. Our, our, amen, praise God, our interest rates were higher. There were certain areas we were not allowed to live in, certain freedoms that we were not given. Mm, but we're not going to talk about necessarily the natural freedoms or inequalities. But I want to speak to you today about the spiritual bondage, the spiritual inequalities, the spiritual freedom that we all could ask ourselves, Are, how free am I really? Oh, am I really free today? Amen. Praise God. And when we look at the freedom in a, in a spiritual sense, amen, we have to see that sin is the thing that keeps us enslaved. Oh, I just got to go ahead and speak about that thing today. Sin is the thing that keeps us bondage, that keeps us, amen, praise God, from being free. And it's not just sin, saints of God, but I will submit to you in four keys today that uh, uh, number one is have you been set free? Have you really been set free? Are you maximizing your potential as a free person? Are you maximizing your potential? What does that mean? Oftentimes, what gets in our way, what keeps us bond, bond and bound, amen, praise God, is our own fears and our own insecurities. Our own fears and our own insecurities oftentimes keeps us in bondage. And today, saints of God, I hope that I'm able to encourage you today to ask yourself that question and to look within yourself and to look to God to release some shackles and bondage and things that have been keeping from you from maximizing your potential to be truly free. Hello, somebody. Mm, I'm going to try to get to this thing. I got a few more minutes, but I'm trying to get you to maximize your potential. What's keeping you from that business? What's keeping you from starting that business? What's keeping you, amen, praise God, for stepping out on faith and purchasing that house? What's keeping you, saints of God, from you stepping out on faith, amen, praise God, and maybe increasing your tithes? What's, what's stopping you, amen, uh, or what fears or what insecurities do you have, amen, to start that ministry? What fears, what insecurities, amen, praise God, do you have maybe to leave an abusive relationship? Oh, I want to talk to somebody today. Are you really free? How free are you really? Mm, I got to ask myself, what's stopping me? What's in the way? What's keeping me from exhibiting the joy of the Lord, which is my strength? You, I want to submit to you today, saints of God, in key number two, that our joy is a pred predication of our freedom. Our joy or lack of joy is a predication, is a prerequisite. It tells us it's an example. It's a highlight that tells us how free we really are. Mm, I said our fears and our insecurities are things that may oftentimes keep us from uh, stepping out on faith and doing some things that we may want to do. But then there's also some other things that get in the way. Unforgiveness, bitterness, strife hurt and pain. These are shackles. These are chains that shackle people down, that keep people from maximizing who they are in God. Oh, but I want to submit to you today that those chains can be broken. They can be broken if you would only want to be set free. Uh -huh. uh, number three says you can't really free yourself. You got to understand, saints of God's and friends, that if you're in a condition where, and everybody is in a different stage and level of freedom. Yes, we are. Everybody is in a different stage and level of freedom. Some are at a much more advanced stage. 
Some are at a beginning stage. It's almost like when you lost a loved one. There's different stages of mourning. Amen. Praise God. And, and even in freedom, there's different stages. We know it to be true. Some of you came to Christ just as you were. And you were wounded. And you gave your life to Christ. But you still had some things that you were holding on to. I want to talk to some imperfect people today. The perfect people, I told you, I can't really talk to you today. But the imperfect people, I want to talk to those folks. That's me. I'm already with my hands. That's me. That's me. I'm one of those imperfect people. Uh, but it, I mean, there were some things. I remember when I first came to Christ, uh, I had a smoking problem. Uh, I smoked cigarettes uh, and it was, I was addicted to it. Uh, and when I came to Christ, yes, I got saved. Uh, I believe Christ saved me. Uh, I believe he filled me with his precious Holy Ghost. Uh, but I still had an issue. Uh, can I talk to some people today uh, who are not afraid uh, to stand and say, I got some bondages too. Uh, I got some situations and some problems too. Uh, I ain't all the way right, Pastor. I, I got some situations that I had to struggle through and I had to get through and I had to go to God to help set me totally free. Mm. Uh, yes, and one thing I noticed about uh, being set free is you can't go about how people feel about your freedom. Uh, oh, you're going to have to understand, saints of God, uh, that the only person that can set you free uh, is God himself. Uh, and you're going to have to get delivered from people, uh, and you're going to have to understand uh, that God is the one uh, that you take your sins, uh, you confess your sins to God, uh, and he's faithful and just uh, to forgive you of your sins uh, and to cleanse you uh, of all on righteousness I don't even have time today but true freedom is contagious true freedom is contagious when you get free and you don't even have to play a song and a shout can come to, oh I wish I can talk to somebody that, two or three people that can understand what I'm saying today when you're totally free when you know that God delivered you from crack cocaine when you know that God delivered you amen praise God from sexual immoralities when you know that God has delivered you amen from backbiting from lying oh from tormented spirits when you know God has delivered you and set you free it doesn't take much to get your battery started. Oh, can I get a witness in here? But the joy of the Lord, it seems to rise up in you because you remember you remember how good God is and you know that God is so good that even in your sin when you were bondage up that he so gave the world his only begotten son and he gave him from you and me and I know that there's somebody today who wants to be set free I gotta speed this thing up we ain't got time there's somebody who was bound there's somebody who's shackled there's somebody who's who may be an inhibited by some things in your life some fears that you have well God sent me here today to tell you to fear not for God is with you fear not for God is not forgot to fear not for God is calling your name and if you would just lift your hands to God and give God some praise God wants to bring you out he wants to bring you out. He's able. He's able to bring you out of any type of situation. He's able to bring you out of any type of bondage. He's able to bring you out of a financial situation. He's able to bring you out. Oh, and to step out on faith. But the Bible says, he says, take your stance. Never again. Let anybody put a harness of slavery on you. The only person that can enslave you is yourself. The only person that can keep you bound is yourself. But if you want to be free today, if you want to be free, all the Bible says, ah, uh, yes, it does in 2 Timothy 2.26, 
and they may come to their senses and escape from the snares of the devil, having been held captive by him to do his will. John chapter 8, 34 says, Jesus answered them and said, truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is enslaved of their sin. But Hebrews chapter 2, 14 says, therefore, since the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise also partook of the same, that through death, hello somebody, he might render powerless him who hath the power of death, uh, that is the devil. Uh, Romans chapter 7 24 says, uh, Wretched man that I am, uh, who will set me free from the body of this death? Uh, 2 Peter 2 and 19 says, uh, The promises from freedom, uh, while they themselves are slaves of corruption, uh, for by what man is overcome? Uh, by this he is enslaved. Uh, in Romans chapter 618 and having been freed from sin you became slaves of righteousness oh there's only one person I want to be a slave to I want to be a slave to Jesus oh can I get a witness in here I want to be a slave to righteousness I want to be free in God first Timothy 3 and 7 I'm getting ready to close it said and he must have a good reputation with those outside the church so that he will not fall into reproach and the snare of the devil in Acts chapter 8 23 says for I see you are in the guile of bitterness and in the bondage of inequity oh in my closing John chapter 8 starting at the 31st verse said then Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him if you continue in my word and you are my disciples indeed and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free and then they answered him we be in Abraham's seed and we never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou? Ye shall be made free. And Jesus, somebody said Jesus, and Jesus, he answered them. He said, verily, verily, I say unto you, whomsoever committeth sin in the service of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son of man abideth forever. And 36 is when it get good. If the Son of Man, somebody, if the Son of Man, therefore, shall make ye free, ye shall be free indeed. Whom the Son sets free, oh, hallelujah, you shall be free indeed. I'm talking to somebody today. If there's somebody that's stuck in bondage, if fear is your bondage, oh, unforgiveness is your bondage, hurt is your bondage, the Bible says, you just got to come on to Jesus. He can set you free. I want to introduce you to a man. A man that's got all power. He's got the power to release you. He's got the power to heal you. He's got the power to deliver you. All you got to say is, here I am, Lord. Deliver me. Deliver me. How free are we willing? If there's one, if there's one, if there's one, if there's anybody today, we don't have a lot of time, but if there's anybody today, somebody suffering in bondage, in bondage, and you want to be free today, Jesus told his disciples, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Regardless of what stage you are, we're not here to judge you. We're not here to put you in heaven or hell, but we're here to offer you freedom, liberty, and real pursuit of happiness. And the pursuit of happiness is God. Come unto you, all the are laboring heavy laden. He wants to give you rest. He wants to deliver you from wherever you are. If there's one, if there's one who says, God, that's me. I feel like I've been stuck in bondage. You may even be saved and still feel stuck by your own fears and insecurities. God has wants to encourage you today that you can be free. You can be free naturally and you can be free spiritually. But you got to ask God and God will save you. God will deliver you. God will set you free. God has no respect to person. He's most equitable. He's an equitable God. 
Amen. He's not going to mistreat you, abuse you, or tell you nothing wrong. But God said, if you want to be free, just come on. Father, right now we ask if there's anybody that wants to be free, that they just simply lift their hands and say, God, free me, God. Save me from my fears and my insecurities, things that have kept me, God, from moving closer to you. True freedom is a close relationship with God. God, I want to get closer to you. I want to be free from sin. I want to be free from my own temptations. I want to be free, God, from my own insecurities and my own fears. And I want to be free to be able to do whatever you placed in my heart to do. God, I accept the fact, if you do, if you're not, if you do not know Jesus as in the parting of your sins, just simply say, God, I, I accept the fact that you died on the cross. I believe it with my heart. And I confess it with my mouth, God, that I want to be saved. Save me, God. Deliver me. Set me free. I pray in the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice, God, that who may be in bondage, naturally and or spiritually, that you break every chain, every shackle, every generational curse, every inhibition, every fear, every insecurity, and we speak your love, your peace, your power, your wisdom, and your anointing over their life right now, that they will step out in faith and do what you called them to do. God, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, and we give you the praise. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the God. Praise our God. Thank you, Jesus. We remember the day when the Lord set us free. There's nothing like it. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God and we, we hope that everybody can come into this freedom that we have. As the song says, I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. And no more chains holding me. My soul is resting in the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're here to raise our offering for today. And uh, uh, we ask that you open your heart and give because that's liberating as well. Praise the Lord. God commands us and God commands us in love. Praise the Lord. So if you want to give today, we have four ways that you can give. Uh, you can give uh, by, by our church app Prayer House, COGBF. You can install it from Google Play Store, from the App Store, or from Amazon. Find the Tithes and Offerings button, scroll down, and you'll see it, and follow the prompts. Thereafter, uh, you can also give by Cash App. Um, our tag is uh, Prayer House 270. Dollar sign Prayer House 270. Praise the Lord. You can also give by a U.S. mail. It still works. Prayer House, Church of God by Faith, P.O. Box 30108. P.O. Box 30108, Rochester, New York, 14603. Praise the Lord. God will bless you and uh, prosper you and multiply his blessings toward you. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We thank you for your many blessings. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for giving us this means of getting our uh, finances multiplied, just like a seed in the ground. Hallelujah, God. It will increase. Hallelujah. It will bring forth fruit. And Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon, for uh, that offering. Amen. Praise God. Before we log off of our online visitors uh, we're in um, our online services, we're going to make a few announcements. Uh, we have uh, coming up this week, amen, praise God, is our national summer camp meeting. Um, so we will not be having a Bible study this Wednesday, and we will not be having uh, Sunday services 
on next Sunday because our camp meeting, uh, the bishop will be preached. It starts on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in, uh, ending with the bishop preaching on Sunday morning. So we're asking everyone to tune in to that. So we're asking our online viewers to tune in via Facebook or YouTube. We'll probably post the links to uh, the national camp meeting links. We'll post them to our YouTube page. We'll also make sure they're, they're on the app as well. So those of you can log on and our online visitors on Facebook, uh, when you log on, when you go to us um, next Sunday, you can start on this uh, Thursday. Um, services start myself. I'm preaching on Friday night, it's the Lord's will. Um, already pre-taped uh, that message. Uh, hope to all of you uh, uh, be uh, attendance of all of those services, either YouTube and or Facebook. Also, we want to mention to our online visitors, we are getting preparing for our 20th annual Jefferson Avenue Tent Revival. Woo -hoo, come on, let's get a shot in this place. My boy losing my voice a little bit. Um, <clears throat> Uh, we have a great lineup. We'll be posting the flyer. It's already on our app. We'll be posting it on our Facebook page as well. We have uh, our own Sompsis, uh who's been singing with us lately, Shawanda Owens, who will be uh, filling in, singing uh, her, her and her team be with us, as well as our own praise and worship team will be singing at the Tent Revival. Um, we have Pastor Jonathan McKnight on, on Monday, Pastor Nolan Williams on Tuesday, Prophet Daryl McCullough on Wednesday, Pastor Byron Smith on Thursday, and then Bishop James Hartfield will be closing us out on that Friday. Uh, amen. So our the services will be streamed um, live. Uh, so we're going to be uh, making some further announcements to our members when we shut off. But um, our services will be streamed live, and they will be in person uh, on Jefferson Avenue, 647 Jefferson Avenue at Lightfoot Square. And uh, we're looking forward to having a blessed time in the Lord. We're praying for souls. Souls souls saved and we're praying for that God will do a miracle work in our city. Amen. I, I'm, I'm just going to share real quickly a quick testimony that uh, met with uh, uh, Brother Mark and, and his, his lovely fiance are with us on today, Maria. And uh, she's from Jamaica. Come on, stand. Uh, visit. Amen. And we thank God for you. I just want to share something she said to me. She said her and her church in Jamaica, and this is for our online visitors as well, that they would go out, they had a very violent community the church was in, and they would go out and they would pray two, three o'clock in the morning, they would go and pray, and wherever they would pray, they would declare that, and they would make atonement at that spot, and then there were no more deaths. There were no more deaths after they went out in prayer. God, we have, uh, we have power. We have power. And we're gonna go out and do the same thing for an entire week, we're gonna pray for peace and no more deaths. And I believe, how many believe God is able? I believe that God is able. We're gonna close out our online uh, service and I'm asking you to stay uh, so we have a couple more uh, announcements to make to the body. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray right now, God, for all of our online listeners, uh, in the name of Jesus, that you would just, God, that you would just touch and bless. We thank you for those that you've saved. We thank you for those who are giving offerings or to, or to our church, our online members, God. We ask you a special blessing, uh, and we ask that you would touch the heart of someone out there, that they may join the church or they may want to give to our church, God. We pray that they would, you would touch their heart to be a blessing, oh God, or that they would want to come in and join this great ministry, God. And we thank you for our online visitors. We pray a, a protection and a blessing over them and their families, God. And we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We're just waiting for that online to um, close off there, and then we'll move forward.